Now, like I said before, there's no way I would have thrown an overclocked quad core on the uh, the poor GAH55N USB 3 from Gigabyte. That's that ITX board that I was uh, overclocking on a dual core. But what I did decide to do is throw a quad core on it and then just run Prime over a course of a couple of days and see how it fares. So you can see the temperatures are unreasonably high up to 98 degrees on some of the cores and that really comes down to the uh, the core i5 cpu cooler not being adequate really um and my room being quite warm after sitting in this tiny enclosed space so by the time the room really heated up well you see that it gets pretty hot so i mean really if you're running this in a little tiny itx case like say for example this one then you're going to want to make sure that you're you're using some kind of decent cooler it might just be that i have bad contact with my thermal compound but uh, actually you know what that's that might be it either way okay so i'm running eight threads of prime 95 what cpu is this hold on a minute Oh, okay. Well, this is a quad core, but uh, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about this one. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, okay. So I won't talk about it. Anyway, eight threads, quad core. It's been running Prime for a grand total of... Let me see how long it ran for. For 56 hours, 49 minutes, the board didn't blow up. So that really completes my experimenting with the H55N USB 3. It uh, held up admirably in a room that must have been well over 30 degrees at its worst with just a stock cooler with poorly applied thermal compound and the MOSFETs and the uh, board itself did not explode. So uh, very nice.